All right, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron for Kaiser Reich as the American Union State. Last episode, we began our invasion of the Pacific States of America. Oh, hopefully Japan denies them, and I think they did. I can't blame the Japanese; they're in the middle of a war. The Japanese probably do not want them joining. Probably go protect Sacramento. Yeah, let's close the noose around the Pacific State's neck. Uh, yeah, let's just put 250 more planes. Should be more than enough. Let's work on getting more infantry equipment. Yeah, there we go. Now we're just closing this little gap up here. Uh, we're not going to steal from other Americans. We might have to take Portland. Not Portland, Seattle. I mean, Portland's up there. But Seattle is what I meant. Well, I guess what it should have been. Are you making divisions? Yeah, I wonder why I did the marching sound. Um, you guys should be there now. So. Now you should definitely have enough planes. Fall of Sacramento. I mean, I'm pretty sure we already had Sacramento. Yeah, just drive right up to Seattle. Took LA. Let's fix this from becoming a problem. Yeah, we're, we don't need to steal from them now. Holy crap, how many military factories did they have? I know, I'm not making carrier naval bombers when I think about it. Oops, shit. There we go. Um, yeah, we can make some strategic bombers. Seems like it'd be worth it. Let's do decisive battle. I'm probably running out of tires. Just waiting. Hope I'm kind of hope we can finish all the Pacific states before. There we go. All right, let's take your army and let's just put you all up here against the Canadian border. You guys are defending there. Hopefully, this will encourage the Canadians to give us New England and Alaska back. I mean, we're going to have to take Panama ourselves from the United Provinces of Central America. Well, let's grant them amnesty. Because they technically rebelled against the United States government and not us. Well, they didn't uh, bend knee when we needed it. I think we can forgive that transgression. Get new strap bombers. You have volunteers from Germany. Wait, oh, they're trying to conquer. Pol what happened over here? Poland, why? Is it like one of their focuses? What the 
heck? Yeah, of course we demand their return. It's not even a question. Yeah, let's just do that. They are not responding to us at all. Alrighty then. Oh, there we go. Your goals are just probably going to be to take Vancouver, which shouldn't be incredibly hard. And to take a lot of the cities. There. Ooh, we could just... See you guys. If we can constrict the Canadians right there. That'll be golden. Oh, wait, we're, we need our Air Force. Right, now we'll actually be able to deploy most, if not all, of our Air Force in the battle. We can just certainly get some close air support in. Oh, there's something in my eye. Ah, all right, I can see again. All good. I still think there's something in my eye, but I can't get it. But it's not. But I think it's like an eyelash or something. You boys do your job. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. Is the Canadian army like not here? I mean, if they're not here, we might as well go. I think if we defeat Canada, that's all we'll need to do. Just because they're a major nation. Whoa, what happened here? I think it's the stupid lakes. Go, Patton. Yeah, what happened? Why did their army get... Their front line get deleted? Theirs is still good. Yeah, don't worry. We'll be okay. Why can't I draw a front line there? It seems that the Canadians are even using... They're breaking the computer against me to try and stop us. I guess I'll just have to do it manually then. I wonder if we can get a big encirclement here in Boston. Are they just completely out of supplies? Yeah, they only have four military factories. They probably just don't have enough. I'm gonna need. More tires, New England has capitulated. And once we take Montreal, we might tap out. Hopefully we don't have to go to like Nova Scotia. Yeah, why isn't it letting me draw a front line? 
That's really weird. I'm here specifically going to go there, and I guess there. Oh, then Quebec City. And let's just wait to assign factories until it's over. You go there first, and then half of you go here. It's possible when Montreal falls that there might be enough. Not quite. Very close, though. Other half just marks there. Halifax? Halifax is eight points. I mean, we have Vancouver. Never mind. Are they really naval invading there? Please tell me I can at least make one now. Yeah, that's weird. Whatever. I mean, if you're here and you're attached to it, I guess, go. Uh, we'll take that. That too. There we go. Commonwealth of Canada has capitulated. Oh, the Dominion of India. Well, we can do Cuban intervention to help convince them to stand with us. Let's get some new heavy some new battle cruisers. Oh, and who was telling me that need less tungsten and iron? Yeah, I don't need to trade with the Germans anymore for it. Tungsten, I'm not changing trading with anyone for it. However, I do need more chromium. Uh, planes. I could just start making motorized. And that might be a good idea. Yeah, getting those guys out of there isn't going to be easy. I don't even know if we can invade India. Hopefully, the Dominion of India falls on its own. Yeah, there. We just can't stop them just because we're going over. It looks. Uh, no, they're actually beating the Bharat in commune. problem we have right now is I would have to sail my fleet all the way across. wonder, did I get cores on Afghanistan? Nah, they just got colonies. It looks like they might actually manage to beat both of them. Which will definitely be a bit of a pain. Come on.
Wait a minute. You know, I wonder. Ask for military access. Let's just send like an ex expeditionary force there. I mean, it's kind of going to be a roughly done expeditionary force. As long as we can beat beat them. Yeah, they both gave it to me. Which means I can go to both of their lands. What just happened? Something happened in the game. And I don't see what it could have been. Was it creating... Wait, so did Sweden annex them, release them, and they're still socialist? Fantastic. Yeah, the Russian Republic. Awesome Finnish dude. Poland still exists. We have the mighty Hungarian Empire. Nothing seemingly out of the norm. Yeah, let's see what it could have been. Oh, was it this? The Peru Bolivian Con Confederation? I don't remember that being there. I'm just waiting for when Brazil attacks them. Uh, let's do New American Republic. Wow, Cuba. Oh, no Transamer. Alright, is our expeditionary force. They're all assembling. You know, I have enough men to where I could probably just constantly keep the attacks here going. And just be a big pain in their ass. Let's get new close air support. Why aren't they being able to get get here? I guess the British might be taking them out. Luckily, it's only tires and chromium that we need. Ever. Anything else we can just get on our own. Wait you guys stay back. Apparently the game doesn't want to let me... Oh wait, you're the one set to the naval invasion. That's why you're doing it the way you are. Oh wait, Russia and the Germans are going at it. Probably don't want to go there. I mean, I don't think it really matters who I help. Fall of Petrograd. Wow, the Finns took it that easy. I wonder where that happened before. Holy crap. Up to 500 divisions? Not, not to forget the fact that all the other members of Middle Europa... I'm pretty sure the Germans are going to just completely step over the Russians. Wait, the 60, 60. All right. Kaiserreich devs, you knew what you were doing. You knew. The 69th wife lovers. Yeah, just guard. Ports. Or I could be smart and, you know, use my fleet. I could do that too. 
There would be the fun in that. You know, if I can do that, does that mean I can send my planes over here? Probably not. I also don't actually know where any of their ports are. So I should be able to walk from their territories to each other. I'm not at war with either of them, so it doesn't shouldn't matter that they're at war with each other too. Yeah, they're just taking out my convoys left, right, and center. I mean, I could probably beat whatever fleet they have there. Let's see, our navy has 74 boats in it, so it's just everything that's here. Now we have a second carrier. There is a carrier there, that's the thing. Well, you know what? If... They're all there. Fly here to New Jersey. Romania has capitulated. I didn't even know Armenia was still a country. So we'll put you there. Combine it. We'll set you guys here. I'll set you on search and destroy. That was quick. Well, they have five carriers, but they are going to have a bit of a penalty for having that many. They're taking out a lot of destroyers. Hang them all. Hopefully our carriers are able to stay back. We did take out all, all their planes. We need to, our naval bomber should be able to go free, but we're, we're taking so much damage right now. Again, it's just our destroyers who are getting killed. Well, um, let's do Haitian intervention. We have massive air superiority here. And they have a lot of bigger ships that have been destroyed. Alright, let's see what the total death toll was. I mean, we got carriers. If we can kill their carriers, then we're... Yo, we got another one. So, we did have most of our fleet destroyed. But we did take out a good chunk of the Canadian fleet. So now let's head back, and we're going to have to repair. You have level 10 port in Washington, I think. Now who has the good port? Why can't I select you? Oh yeah, we're not going stupid Pelly route. Oh, Norfolk has our really big naval base. Yeah, so most of our destroyers are dead, but our carriers put in a whole lot of work and so did our huge battleships. Moscow has fallen. Wow. They just. Did the Germans naval invade up there? Hey, our forces are almost here. Looks like only one of them got caught by boats. Paul's on in the Entente. So 
here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna join over here. And we're gonna try and help him push towards Delhi. Yeah, now we just gotta wait to build up some more ships and for our existing ships to repair. You guys know there's no one there, right? They just not have the divisions. As we are walking through here entirely unopposed. All right, there we go. Now we have some resistance. This rate, we're gonna be able to walk straight in the deli. They're not even trying. We could walk straight in the luck now. Looks like all they needed down here is actually just more troops. Looks like otherwise they were doing fine. They just didn't have enough men. Oh yeah, no, no, hold, hold, hold. Let's see if we can just get them to capitulate. Delhi is right there. With four American Union State Divisions, I have a hard time thinking they're going to be able to stop us from getting there. If we take Kathmandu... Nepal will probably capitulate. Probably. Oh, they're very close. If we just take more of their territory, that should be enough. We got a little encirclement. Let's take Delhi. Looks like we're gonna have to take another city. Well, they don't have a core on Bombay, do they? Oh no, they do. Well, there's still a lot of cities up here we can take too. I don't, I don't, I don't like how we're giving it to the Bharat in commune, but it is what it is. Get you there. If we can fight the Indian divisions whenever we can instead of the volunteered ones, that'll be good. Just because they have 
Looks like most of the Indian divisions are militia and garrisons. Haiti. We'll do Longs Republic. Hey, welcome, Haiti. Oh, it's great to Kathmandu. Damn, Sinaclis can't even hold a city. Let's see if we can close up these front lines. Just to make it a bit neater. You know what, guys, I think this is a good spot to end it for today. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace!